on the other side too, a character who plenty thrives off of the same type of concept when you have um, a little bit less reactability and having to deal with uh, the nares keeping you grounded. You got Palatina. So we're going to be seeing first one here. I believe that's Hydra uh, on the other side, correct? Yeah. Okay, so you got Hydra versus Mouse Rat. Going to be getting into game one. Starting it off on Smashville instead of PS2. Uh, is there any way I can get some game audio? Uh, unfortunately not, no. If, oh. In oh, order yeah. for... You can try this. Oh my gosh. There we that go. Worked. It's loud, but it works. <laughs> Oh, he's oh, just making it right. louder. He's just making it louder. <laughs> okay. I've lowered it. Lower, please. Yeah, too loud. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. we're improving. A little bit lower. Yes. Yes, it is. Devin with the clutch. As uh, Mass Rat has started to try and set up these juggle situations, uh, Hydra, on the other hand, just choosing to recover high multiple times, getting to this platform. Yeah, the majority of what you're going to have to do, I think, as you're here, is get up and navigate around the way that Hydra is trying to control that center stage platform. You already see, uh, like, Hydra doing a good job of kind of keeping Mouse Rat stuck at the ledge. But if Mouse Rat is able to get one of these good ledge traps, like so, getting the jump read, he's gonna be doing a pretty good job. What's the call? Come over it, get the punish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mouse Rat, it's like his go-to setup for ledge trapping. While it is rather linear, he always sets up with that F smash. And once you wait it out and once you see it coming, it's possible to punish. Okay, we go. Jump. Yeah, what's, that's one of the things you speak to. You regular kind of want to throw out those Thunder Jolts as a way to approach. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the down air right there, trying to look for maybe an air dodge back to ledge. Oh my god, the first school, but he had his jump. All right, Hi Ajax showing off how this, he's showing off it where his Palutena is really strong, playing the center stage, holding on. Hydra. That ain't my Palu. <laughs> yeah, my Palu would have been knocked out in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> That's all good. So you see Hydra kind of slowing it down. I like the idea. You don't really want to push the initiative too much against Pikachu to begin with. A uh, Mouse Rat trying to go for like a deep edge guard, but instead of explosively actually backing it off. I uh, like Hydra's mental awareness of positioning, even when it's disadvantaged. Like <laughs> right there, trying to drop down He's the mouse right to react. <laughs> like occasionally a right call can go wrong very bad, very quick. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the times, Mouse Fry will always look at um, Duramgar was saying this earlier. When Mouse Fry is looking to kill, he's oftentimes just standing or dashing back and forth. But when he's looking for damage, he's up in the air. 100%. Mouse Fry regularly will kind of stare you down looking for that dash attack. And that's also something you got to fear as well because they could just be staring you down waiting for you to react and do something stupid and get big damage. I like Hydra's idea of trying to go to the left to cover, but Hydra can... Hydra can kind of like just hang back a little bit. Now that you have, you know, four minutes still left on the clock, Pikachu has to come at you. And navigating that center stage platform is working very well. For sure. Hmm. A lot of these early teleport options are covering are covering the full stage distance, but Mouse Rat is oftentimes picking his picking his spot to extend uh, in the juggle situation, like going right up from underneath uh, Hydra. And that allows the teleport to get him uh, get him out of dodge quickly. So great react either it's reaction or just sheer know how of the matchup. Yeah, I think either way it's good. I think it's mostly matchup at that point. Also, I've noticed Hydra the, well, from the couple steps I saw before I hopped on is a very big fan of downer, especially at the ledge. Uh, so I think Mouse Rat's gonna have to pay attention to that. But Hydra's so good at kind of not overusing it to that degree, and that's really it. Just a, a telltale sign of a good player not overusing the good conditioning goal. Oh, that is going to catch him being a little bit too aggressive, pressing the button. Force the jump out, so you're going to be capping land right in front, but instead, Mouse Rat goes around it. Good job. Mouse Rat is definitely more uh, pretty solid with his quick attack angles, but the Thunder didn't hit Pikachu and gave him plenty of room for that back air to connect. And Hydra's going to take game one. Yeah, solid game from Hydra right there. And uh, also, I mean, still good solid game for Mouse Rat too, but Hydra just uh, r really won in the, the game of patience because you don't really want to go in too much against Pikachu. Otherwise, you're going to get those uh, strings we mentioned before, the 30s, the 40s, and sometimes the 60s, depending on what kind of character size you are. So you, you have to make sure that you're not 
pushing too hard at all times, otherwise you're asking for trouble. And uh, even on a small stage, Hydra still was able to kind of camp back a bit. And I think that threw off Mouse Rat a little bit. So we'll see if Mouse Rat does go into the next game. Probably not on Smashville again. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Smashville is his pick of choice. Uh, not sure where his selection is. I know it seems like Mouse Rat is a little bit more uh, choosy. It, he's ch more pretty I know is a pretty common pick for Mouse Rat for sure. Three, but uh, it's going to be Battlefield. One. Yeah, Mouse Rat picks a lot more unconventional Pikachu stages than a lot of matchups. Like, I don't, I see him go to PS2 more regularly, uh, Battlefield. So, it's a little bit less of the like, trademark Pikachu picks like Kalos or FD. But, you know, if it works for him, then, you know, that's all you can really ask. That being said, this is a wonderful Palutena stage. So, yeah, it's a great stage for both players. Like, nobody really loses out on anything here, which is a huge key. And I, Hydra's just so good at kind of shutting down what well, one of Pikachu's best options. Actually, really just so good at doing that against uh, the cast in general. It's just keeping you grounded and forcing you to not use that good approach game that Pikachu has. But you see Hydra just kind of committed to the cause. You don't really want to back up to, like, you don't want to go in too much and because of that, you're able to get both the auto radical and it comes like flame and almost getting the down smash. Just but a little luckily, bit late. I was able to get up there before that went off. Yeah, you're right. Just like a frame or two off from that down smash. Yeah, it, it's also like Mouse Fry is trying to play this game a little bit less uh, jump happy. And if you saw on Smashville, he was playing a lot of like full hop T Jolt, come down with that. Oh Jeez. my god, that was almost. Wow, that was that, almost. That just the traction follow right there, just kind of not even going for it off the start, off the off tilt, because you expect somebody to maybe jump or try and anticipate the follow up, instead holding off for a second. And that was almost on point. You know, Mouse could do it, maybe get by the blood trap. Skull bashing past it, it seems. Uh, Mouse Rat's pretty consistently going high around a lot of these options as the quick tech barely gets by that explosive flame. Yeah, definitely one of the more stressful situations. Good reaction to that teleport on stage two. It's that, like, good Palutena players won't do it too much. That's the best time to punish a Palu, though. At, at the end of that teleport, you gotta make sure you get that if you can. And, uh, yeah, we saw Bonk throwing that a bunch earlier, too, trying to get Hydra, but unfortunately, Bonk ended up going to losers. Mouse Rat. Doing a little bit better job trying to look for maybe an air dodge down with that down air. He's covering a lot of the space that uh, Palutena is trying to get, trying to use to reset her, reset her teleport and reset her air dodge. Wonder why he went for the jab. A mouse trap, a mouse trap has been so good. I'm trying to go for the thunder, maybe hoping that we are out there a little bit longer, go for like a jump to get back. That didn't go back to the right hand side. You see Hydra trying to look, just trying to cover one of those quick stacks in. Oh, that almost got in nice. second. Even so, still the option coverage. All of that entire sequence was so brilliant from Mouse Riot. Like he, he looked for the, he looked for the neutral tech option on the platform because everyone does it. But that back here is always solid, and will end up even in the stock count, but at such a huge disadvantage and per, such huge percent differential. It's gonna yeah, be rough for for Hydra's game plan. Going keep into on, a game keep on throwing out hitboxes. Eventually, get caught on one of those back airs. That arm, the invisibility frames on, is so sure. <laughs> kind of annoying to do it. But it's all good as long as you find your way back in. And Maltra is a, a really done a good job of uh, kind of preventing Hydra from going for the same game plan that they've been able to do successfully. I like that double thunder is here too, kind of falling just long enough. Just a little extra boost it helps out. Helps out when it can. Got to be careful with Palutena's like rarely used reflector, but it's an option she has. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's one of the, it's just one of those things in your back pocket. Oh, you know what? I like that idea because you go for the ledge jump there. Most people are ready to buffer a roll. I like kind of out of panic, and uh, instead Hydra went up to the top platform. But that is still something Mouse that at least gets data off of. 171. We're starting to look at like Mouse Rat trying to put on damage and get it, uh, get Hydra into up throw kill percent. Mm -hmm. and meanwhile, the same token, uh, you got Hydra who's kind of like laying back near the wall, just hoping that Mouse Rat tries to go for maybe one of those uh, grab, whips it, and gets a stage advantage by throwing off and we get an early spike or something along the way. There's always potential for Hail Mary. Hey, there it is. <laughs> and, and, you know what? Smash is the only fighting game outside of maybe Soul Calibur where you can beat yourself. It's too good to just go ahead and run off stage, so the game's never really over until it's this game. Uh, at 203%, too, this is kind of crazy. Now, Mouse Rat's going to have to look 
for nothing else because finally got the forward air to the close to the knockout. Not letting Pikachu back out of shield and start his train. Oh, he DI'd in. You never want to do that. Yeah, you got also you got to give credit where it's due to Hydra because uh, Malphite was kind of cruising with a very high lead but wasn't able to seal the deal on the second stock. And because of that, the, the follow up stock, Hydra is actually able to get rid of it and bring it back to an even game on last stock here. Yeah, Hydra stayed solid. He stuck to his guns and he's managed to bring this almost. Well, effectively all the way back, given how uh, stock two started to look. Yeah, you see now both of them just kind of swing, and I think the thing is, uh, when you get into these type of situations, you start looking for the momentum swing back, and Malphite just looking right there. You go slowing it down finally. Uh, I can usually just kind of take that second and kind of pause, and both players really was always in the favor of Hydra because the neutral layer out of Palestine is just so much better for stopping too much push. Let's see if I let's see if Malphite can maybe. That back with that good push that they had the first at the beginning of the game. I kind of want to see him go a little. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> smash on the new uh, get up attack is going to end up taking that game and even up the score 1 1. Ow! Uh, <laughs> yeah, a, ow. So, one of the most consistent things you'll see out of a Pikachu um, is using that forward smash at the ledge. It covers holding on too long, it covers the neutral get up because it lingers for so long. And uh, it wasn't really something that Mouse Rat went for throughout the set because you saw Mouse Rat uh, went for those. It, it kind of layered that up. Went for the the ledge snap before to get the buffered roll and maybe force some fear out of that option. So you try to go for neutral get up instead. And as the set progressed, ended up working out, got the fourth turn. I don't. Does Pikachu F Smash hit below ledge? I thought it only hit. Some only some ledge hangs, not all of them. Well, not all, but it can hit. Uh, I, I don't remember if Palatine is actually in that category because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know all of the Pikachu board matches that ledge, but it can hit at ledge. And also, it's just one of those good things where if they try to use the get up, they try to maybe jump off and throw like say short hop, like a fair off the ledge. It's going to cover all of that. And oh. where Pikachu positions itself, uh, itself too. You usually cover roll, which, if I remember correctly, Mouse Rat was in uh, in the right spot to cover it. So it's it's a lot of options. Yeah, the only option really is to wait and wait and then jump. Yeah, <laughs> or death, which is exactly what happened to Hydra. We're here in game number three. We're gonna run it back to uh, Battlefield Two, which I actually uh, agree with uh, because Hydra was doing a perfectly fine job on this stage. And even though it was Malkrat's counterpick, it, it's still a great spot for both of them. Yeah, I wouldn't even be surprised if, like, since both their players are comfortable counterpicking here, depending on how this goes, we might see the rest of the set on you. Yeah, I think so too, unless things like kind of like go really, really bad for Malkrat. Oh, that was smart and good tech mental awareness from Malkrat too, because you could have just ended up not attacking there, even though Pikachu had a great recovery. Uh, the jump was already expended at that point, so Flick Attack might have not made it back. Oh, it's got to be ready, especially when you're under the stage there. Like, teching, even on Wi-Fi, what teching can be sometimes fickle, but if you're yeah, ready, you're ready. Yeah, you're usually teching in anticipation more so than on reaction when it comes to Wi-Fi sometimes. But <laughs> you don't really get to tech any of those. They like, to play, get a catch mouth track, kind of scoop it on the way back in, which really has just been a good job of Hydro. have been using it only where uh, it's been necessary to try and tech. Uh, an early jump, or maybe uh, not the most optimal recovery at the time. Yeah, Hydra's explosive flame, explosive flame placements have been so good throughout this entire bracket. Like, he's placing them in high spots, forcing air dodges, he's placing them after uh, landing forward airs to mix up, uh, mix up tech chases. Yeah, Hydra just missed the clip, uh, the clip of the night earlier today with uh, just that tech almost going to close that out. Uh, it, you, ha you saw the. Um, the, the explosive flame into the teleport against the explosive flame attempt on Bong, but Bong actually managed to air dodge pass. That would have been the clip of the night. For real. Oh, F Smash goes from this cross stage. Even Sour Spot. I guess 179 everything kills. Yeah, I would hope so at that point. <laughs> it's fair. Like, if you would go to go, uh, uh Mouse has got to be careful because exactly that. If you start trying to get a little bit too aggressive on your recovery, look how much damage you ended up Another taking, one. and that's end up leading the stock all off of just. One really early attempt to get off the lead, quick attack behind the Hydra, reacting accordingly, and just ending up holding that out beautifully. Yeah, popping, popping up Mouse Rat exactly at the right height. 
And sometimes Palutena's reach just gets gets far enough. Explosive Flame's variable distance is super handy. She is a goddess for a reach and has the ability to kind of manipulate things in her favor. And unfortunately for everybody else in the cast, it's usually both, most of the time a lot. Uh, I guess the Pikachu, <laughs> you know, usually Maltrat definitely has a great character to fight here, but this is one of the more difficult matchups for Pikachu because of the fact that Palutena is so good at keeping her ground and did not kind of choose the Indian Shield option. You would argue that's like one of the best places for Pikachu to be in a lot of more difficult air-to-air -air matchups. He can play as a short character so well and just make Palutena's life hitting him really yeah, it, hard. The great thing is too, like, uh, the, the Rats are definitely one of the more annoying matchups for, uh, for Pikachu. And just look at the way that Hydra's playing this matchup. Like, definitely has practiced this a lot. And also, yeah. just looking for a chance to ledge, but... Hydra's holding a very comfortable hit to the point of even after this stock, you still have to be careful because the great hit can take you out. Yeah, and I would like to see, like, at such a percent difference like this, oh, be careful with that up smash. Uh, I would like to see uh, Mouse Rat go a little bit deeper off stage. He's been tunneling a lot on the ledge trapping, while well, good. Uh, he's been tunneling a lot on ledge trapping, on trying to catch neutral getup, and looking for his kills that way. When Palutena, a lot of the times, her. She's pretty susceptible if you go after her off stage, forcing her to either use her air dodge or catching the beginning of the teleport. However, it's a matter of if he can even get that situation to happen in the first place, because Hydra's playing the center oh, stage super now, well. Hold up, now Mouse Rat got a got the roll reaper. Oh, okay. All right, so trying to go for the thunder, if you look for a spot that you place in that platform, nothing's going to happen. You can do, it's still one of those characters you always have to understand that at any point in time you might just straight up lose the game. Look at these reaps that Malta has gotten all of a sudden, going from 125% near zero and now bringing it all the way back to his two years. Take the game by closing it out on the left side of the stage. What an amazing comeback on that last one from Park Did he get hit? Did he get hit at all? Yes, he did. He did get hit, but nothing, not enough in order to change the fate of Palutena getting. Getting killed, what was that? Like 80%? Like 80%. This is exactly why I say you cannot call things quits until the game actually says over because you can see one of those characters that even know how you can hit you with pretty much anything and you're going to explode. Pikachu just covers options so fast, and that's not even just kind of throwing them out there. Mousetrap read the roll, read the teleport on the platform, read the jump, and then as soon as they saw the opportunity was there, both of them were right out there. That was a great game by Mousetrap. We're going into the next game. Full option coverage, and he's hoping to three, maybe he's hoping to ride that momentum into game one, three, but go. looks like Kydra's game plan hasn't changed. He's still playing the center stage. He's still trying to hold on to Battlefield as his counter pick, and it worked out for 90% of the last game. He says the close out. Too. Uh, you, you were thinking that they were probably going to just run it out on Battlefield here, and I, I'm inclined to agree at this point. We've gone three games in a row here now. Uh, it looks great for both players, and kind of uh like a reversal between the two games you saw in game number two hydra ran it back after being behind on mouse rat and mouse rat was behind a lot on uh hydra and ran it back look at this option coverage once again jumping back onto the explosive flame but mouse rat was ready for it that time dashing back and holding holding to these t jolts and waiting for waiting for hydra to commit to his double jump you know what that, that fadeaway oh, oh my god almost got the teleport in again that fadeaway up air was so good because uh pretty much if if hydra decides to pull in or new get up at that point or even get up attack you're kind of in a good position but all right hydra starting to get exactly what they're looking for looking for the sub chat get the call no nope, not gonna get uh, the back or the up air uh, quick attacking right through and not even worrying about this corner pressure he says i'm gonna be at center stage now <laughs> the entire the entire game plan of Smash Ultimate is pretty much stay as far away from Pikachu as possible. <laughs> oh, oh man, he missed the second angle. Yeah. What's always interesting about this uh, this matchup is that even though Pikachu is almost constantly a threat, Palutena usually has the percent lead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And all oh, there you go. So every single time. Uh, that Hydra is going for that, and kind of just putting it out in like mid stage and forcing a jump on a mouse At that time, recognizing mouse was always throwing up with thunder, so double jumping up at it. That was a, a really good conditioning for a lot of Hydra there. 
oh, double downer and it's chasing him with these up airs. Here, jump again. And that's been something that uh, I, I like the idea of actually quick attacking on top of Hydra that time because even though it's a bit reckless, uh, the last few times you attacked it, you could attack behind Hydra. So it ended up working out because they weren't prepared for that. Yeah. And most of the time, we see uh, whenever Mouse Rat is quick attacking off ledge, he's going to he's going to a platform, whether it be the top one or one of the side ones. Oh, okay, F Smash is fine. There we go. Again, the, you, you got it. I, I really do respect the way that I just been able to keep this game like as uh, just as close they are because usually the only thing that you get out of this matchup is Captain Nair's kind of like challenge uh, Pikachu when they're trying to attack on shield so much, but. Like, just really just been boxing so low, not just at the ledge. Like, so, the backers could close it out. I just are getting yet another comfortable lead, but looking at this mouse track and maybe run it back the same way they did in the last game. It looks like Mouse Rat's not gonna, not gonna wait for any exchanges this time. Trying to hold him at ledge, but the teleport gets past the thunder. I thought the third one hit, but they skull bash to get out of the way. I feel like I've watched like the same repeated episode of Law and Order every time that happens. Every single time they're in a situation, Skull Bash goes to the left, Hydra throws on explosive flame, the thunder goes off. So I'm wondering if maybe as this match progresses, if we see an early attempt to try and go punish one of those Skull Bashes, or if Maltrap beats the idea that it happens to still spread down here as the Hydra goes out there after him. We'll have to see. We'll have to see any changes, but the air dodge read not enough to kill quite yet. All right, Mousetrap chooses to disengage instead of trying to pressure any further. Bringing yeah. for his life. That's exactly how the last game went through. You saw Mousetrap was so far behind in percent. Hydra wasn't able to hold out that last shot, but Hydra had a very like, large lead like so. They spoke up, they're not gonna do it just yet. Okay, a couple of these dash attacks is coming out. Back in order to power through any sort of thunder drill, a couple more. But the quick attack was just a little too early. And as the last game, not even letting him, fearing the last game, not even gonna let him get to the last, not even let himself get to last stock, just closing the book right on to game four, moving on to game five. All right, I'm gonna pull this back up here. That sound good? Uh, sound better. Give me sound check, I guess. Mic check. If I have to, I'll switch yeah, over to this is my... definitely way better, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. I had kind of leaned back after one of those, like a few of those plays that got me hyped up, so... Yeah. Sorry if my cat sounded a little bit choppy there, but I am back. I have not left. I am still in the building. Also, so hyped. Thank you so much, King Ark, for uh, subbing, or I can't tell if that was a repeated sub or not, but King Ark coming through with the Twitch Prime. I uh, showed some support to 803 k Every single one of those helps uh, keep... Uh, Keep Devin and company feeling good about themselves as we're stuck at home, and we want to make sure we continue to show how some support as they keep giving these Xeno you know, Wi Fi's every single week. Another brick in the house. I say, keep on building. Yeah, much love, man. Hope to see you in the real world eventually. Soon enough. Soon enough. Soon. I hope. A lot of states are opening up for better or for worse. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll stay away from that conversation until after the match because I got okay. to <laughs> All right. uh, But for now, we're at least getting into what we can uh, with this weekly. We got game number five. Ajax, I think you fell out of your mic's range again. Oh, am, do I... Is everything okay now? Yeah, yes, much. I'm currently oh. right next to the mic. Ajax, anybody ASMR. ever? Just make and sure you're again, making talking yeah. to the front of it, not the top I of it. I I tap, I tap it. Yeah, oh a lot God. of people talking to Yetis the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that's what you have, right? Yeah, I have the Yeti. Yeah, don't talk into the top if that's what you were doing. Yeah, I actually have a $300 headset. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the front of it's where you want to talk. I don't know if you were doing Yell at it. it. Anyway. All right, so now I'm carrying it directly in front of me. We're going to sit yeah. here and we're going to talk about this match. We're going to sing. We're going to talk about Pikachu being broken and busted. His name is Palatina. All right, we're really in the roaring 20s now, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're trying to bring us back to, right? But anyways, we're, True. Sure. we're here on Disease game number five. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so we're going to close out the first stock here. Uh, Hydra, I think, definitely is going to be benefiting big time off of this stage. Uh, having a little bit more rain, to be able to kind of back off from Pikachu, not really needing to submit too hard. Uh, even though Mousetrap is doing a good job over these past two games of covering a lot of options, let's we'll see if Mousetrap can maybe do something with the rain, um, or is Hydra going to continue to success? We'll have to see. I do like the change to the PS2 here because even though you had, uh, even though you were able to win a, a game on Battlefield, it was in a, it was after a long comeback, and mm -hmm. the close, the close quarters pretty much let Pao Tan dictate a lot of the movements Pikachu was going to be making. This time you have a lot, you have a lot wider of the stage and a little bit closer of a side, so edge guarding is much more potent. And your combo game is a lot more uh, fluid since the platforms give way to a wide. We saw that out of Smashville too, not really having too much room to navigate. Oh, good cross up. Oh, enough to cross the fadeaway there on the back there to so get out of range of that grab. And we've seen yet again that it's supposed to play usually forces just jump on a master at. So if, uh, we'll see if uh, I just kind of looking for something there. Uh, then again, if Malfred just falls for it, you end up dying in that spot. A lot, of, a lot of chasing down coming out from Quick Attack here, but he drifts past the... Oh, okay, I thought he almost died there. Harry into Tijol. <laughs> nice, I guess. <laughs> here we go, trying to look for maybe a jump out of Shim in that position. Uh, looking for a roll away or some kind of aggressive approach, but not going to get anything out of it. Because again, this is pretty much what Hydra is, uh, is going to do to continue to, to rock his way to victory. You want to make sure you're staying that comes pulling up Ranger away from Pikachu, but the jump read is going to force Hydra to have to go low. The reversal and uh, um, that trap being off stage, getting these folks to play, he pulls out that stock. Yeah, third time was definitely the charm there. He, Mass Riot avoided the first two, and he's not going to avoid some of these follow-ups. Thankfully, he was get, able to get some sort of percent, and these backers are certainly doing work, but finding the kill will always be something a little bit more tricky for Pikachu than finding just raw damage. Also a very good thing for Hydra as well. Uh, they, they really haven't missed an opportunity to cash out some extra damage. So when you hit those mares, you need to not leave the damage on the table. Get those follow-up mares. Uh, and also reacting very, uh, very quick. Any time a quick attack has been on cross, sometimes it's kind of hard to naturally do that. But Hydra's always there. No punish off of that death attack. I like the idea of just acting off the edge because you don't want to accidentally whiff get caught by Hydra yet again. Yeah, not at all. Oh, he just drifts the ledge. Alright, just kind of look for one of these. There you go, the dash back is probably going to do it. Waiting for the lander to come in. Just waited out the back air to land. Uh, to finish, rather. Quick attack back to center stage. All it takes is one opening, and Pikachu can get a plenty of damage, but he misses out on a falling air opportunity instead of going for double jump down air. I got just jumping out of the way of that explosive flame. He's <laughs> trying to passively go for a thunder jolt, but it was the right call. These explosive flames have been so on oh, no. target. Oh, there it is. I like the idea there. You throw out the you throw out the up smash to try and get them scared to go in for quick attack to the ledge, and then they might want to jump off the edge or do something a little bit quick to get away from that corner, and the back air is going to cover it. So Hydra's going to take it three two, and what was a very very uh, close winners finals. Uh, so very well played. I am going to just quickly switch over to my original headset mic. That way I can uh, have the the quality ahead from before. It may not be as good as the Yeti, but as long as it's working, that's all that matters. True. True, true, true. Talking to... Uh, talking so that you're coherent is uh, rather ideal. Uh, let's check out losers in the meantime. Um, in the... Round of eight, there was Bonk taking it over Sparky 2-1, and Apollo taking it over Moop 2-1. Then Bonk took out Insect, the other Palu, uh, in top eight. And now I guess we're waiting on the conclusion of Apollo and Beast as they head into loser semis, where Bonk is awaiting. Okay. Can you hear me? I can, yes. 